Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the Greenfield Village Railroad, and welcome to the opening weekend here at Greenfield Village. We're so happy to have you here with us, and we hope you enjoy the train ride. But before we get underway, let me remind you that while the train's in motion, please remain seated, keeping your hands, legs, arms, head, and feet inside the train at all times, and please, no eating or drinking except for water. Now, if you have little ones with you, we do ask that the adults please sit at the end of the row. If that's not practical, then please make sure those kids are held or are easily within your reach. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good afternoon again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome aboard the Green Deal Show. And before we get underway, I'll remind you that while the train's at home, please remain seated, keeping your hands, legs, arms, and feet inside the train at all times. And please, no eating or drinking except for water. And if you do have little ones with you, we do ask that the adults please sit up in the row. If that's not practical, then please make sure those kids are held or are easily within your reach. Thank you. And this large white building on our left here is the Susquehanna Plantation Hospital, built in 1835, was located in the Tide Water region of Maryland. It was part of the 700 acre plantation that grew wheat and tobacco. It also had 65 enslaved individuals who uh, worked to maintain and operate the plantation. Now the reddish colored building up here is our Clifton family home, the oldest American made home here in the village. Built in 1640, it was located in the south suburb of Massachusetts. Now if 
you can imagine this, two adults and seven children live in this wonderful building. That's pretty tight to look, if you ask me. Now here's the Paris window, the oldest windmill in the United States, built in the 1600s and located on the north shore of Cape Cod. And here comes the Dagger Farmhouse of 1754. It's an example of a variety of going on there. This was located in Coventry, Connecticut, and it looks like they laid in a supply of wood for next winter.
another unique set of classrooms. These are the railroad culvert cars, and they're used by our seniors. Here they take classes in math and English, along with other subjects. And here's our swamp in the middle to the left. Thank you. 